Well, good afternoon, Northern Michigan, from your National Weather Service right here in Gaylord. Welcome to the latest hazardous weather briefing for Northern Lower and East Upper Michigan. Today is Tuesday, the 16th of July, 2013. Well, a rather busy period of weather forthcoming across the area. First of all, we're going to deal with the continuation of this hot and humid weather across all areas. Right on now, it looks like through Thursday, we've actually extended a day with the heat and humidity. The combination of heat and humidity will make the outside temperatures feel more like 95 to 100 degrees across the region, especially across northern lower Michigan where a heat advisory is in effect right through midnight Thursday. And because of this heat, there is a potential for heat exhaustion and heat stroke. And try to minimize your time outside in the exposed sun. In addition, there are increasing concerns for a rather substantial thunderstorm outbreak across the area. Uh, it looks like initially Wednesday afternoon through the first part of Thursday be more spotty activity. And then uh, more widespread thunderstorms are possible, especially Thursday afternoon right on through Friday evening as a more powerful cold front sweeps across the region. Now there is a severe threat with these storms. Uh, initially a rather low end threat across eastern upper uh, Wednesday night, but a more widespread threat Thursday and Friday. It looks like now the primary concern will be a potentially damaging wind event and with a very moist air mass in place any storms will be capable of producing very heavy rainfall uh, through this period. Actually some storms out there right now there are some storms across eastern upper Michigan and kind of scattered widely scattered across northern lower Michigan uh, all part of this big heat dome you see here centered across northern Indiana uh, moisture wrapping around this high pressure uh, and the abundant heat across the region is kicking off those showers and storms, some of which are producing very heavy rainfall, rainfall across eastern upper Michigan. And that will be the case uh, before those storms die out rather rapidly late this afternoon and early evening. Now this uh, high pressure will move very little uh, right on through the first part of Wednesday, but you can see up that cold front well to our west, that will start to settle east and southeast and by Wednesday evening kind of lays out as a stationary front just to our north. Now moisture will continue to wrap around that high to our south. The combination of the frontal feature with moisture coming around that high will kick off some widely scattered showers and thunderstorms especially Wednesday afternoon and evening and primarily across eastern upper Michigan. And then things to really begin to change heading into Thursday by later Thursday that front uh, sags slowly south but there will be uh, some more upper level jet energy bisecting that front and that will kick off a more widespread area of showers and thunderstorms most likely to form across parts of Minnesota and Wisconsin later Thursday and then race east across the region Thursday night uh, and this is one of our uh, primary severe weather concern periods is through Thursday night with the potential for at least a damaging wind event of course, this is subject to change. Uh, there are some indications, at least a few indications, uh, the activity may primarily go off just to our north, but uh, definitely some potential for some severe weather Thursday night. And that continues right on a Friday. Like I said, a rather busy period of weather uh, as that uh, frontal system begins to speed off more to the south and east with a secondary cold front. You can see here racing out of Canada. These, kinda, these two cold fronts essentially merge as one bringing a uh, rather substantial change to the air mass and in doing so will kick off more showers and storms potentially severe during the day Friday uh, with uh, high pressure you can see just starting to enter this map in far central Canada uh, that will bring a rather substantial change to the air mass for this weekend bringing much more tolerable temperatures and much less humidity to the region along with dry weather as for those rainfall amounts, uh, this is through Friday. Uh, you can see uh, well over a half an inch for much of northern Michigan uh, with locally higher amounts across eastern upper. Once again, any storms will be capable of producing very extremely heavy rainfall um, and there could be localized higher amounts than the uh, one to two inches you see here in this uh, precip graphic. Now regarding the severe weather, uh, once again, this is Wednesday, primarily Wednesday afternoon and night. There is a slight risk uh, for damaging winds across eastern upper Michigan. Uh, indications are now that any severe weather through this period will be very widely scattered. 
Uh, the same cannot be said for Thursday and Thursday night uh, into Friday where uh, the slight risk extends a little bit farther south across all of northern Michigan. And uh, by the looks of things, this has the better potential to produce severe weather, pot potentially a damaging wind event, uh, primarily Thursday night and then again on Friday as that main cold front sweeps through the area. A lot of talk about on our, on our weather graphic. You can see tonight uh, pretty quiet. Most, mostly clear after those showers and storms uh, die out quickly this uh, early evening with readings in the 60s to lower 70s and, and rather humid overnight. Although recapping our hazards, there's a lot to talk about. You can see heat and humidity, um, hot and humid conditions right until Thursday. Uh, heat indices, that's a combination of the actual temperature and humidity and what it feels like outside will range through the upper 90s, potentially near 100, especially Wednesday and Thursday afternoon across northern lower Michigan. And as a result, a heat advisory has been issued. And then once again, the increasing thunderstorm potential uh, Wednesday afternoon right on through Friday evening with severe storms possible uh, initially, perhaps as early as Wednesday night, but the primary threat should be Thursday and Friday and mainly a damaging wind event if it does occur at all. Now this concludes the Hazardous Weather Briefing for this afternoon. Thanks again for taking the time to listen. Your next update is expected around 5 a.m. tomorrow morning.